Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Daisy and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Mr. Sunil Joshi, co-founder of STEM Labs, who discussed the company's role in providing end-to-end -end STEM education solutions for K-12 schools. STEM Labs sets up AI, robotics, and STEM labs in schools, offering hands-on learning experiences with kits designed specifically for different age groups. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Mr. Sunil Joshi had to say. As we know, the Edu Bulletin is a platform where we, you know, get the information about all the latest updates in the, you know, product and tech sector in the education market. So today we have with us a very special guest, Mr. Sunil Joshi. He is the co-founder of Airstem Labs, Bengaluru, Karnataka. So welcome to the summit, sir. And uh, how's your experience being here? The summit so far has been uh, fantastic. Uh, a lot of insights on uh, the current trends in education. Uh, uh, really happy to be here. Uh, it's a very well organized event so far. So, for our audience, please, uh, you know, just detail us about what is ASTM Labs and why it is important for the K-12 segment. Uh, ASTM Labs is a complete end-to-end -end solution uh, STEM education provider uh, for uh, K-12 segment. And uh, we set up AI, robotics and STEM laboratories in the schools and uh, help the schools in engaging the students in learning STEM concepts. So That's great to hear. So I believe there are many companies offering these kind of you know technology in the market. So what makes you different from the rest? Uh, being in this business for uh, over three years, uh, what we have realized is uh, uh, the training needs to happen hands-on as in uh, most of the schools uh, there are teachers who are trained on this and they in turn conduct the programs. But what we have seen with that uh, model is the teachers are already overburdened with the existing curriculum, assessments. So STEM takes, takes a second priority. So we realized this pain point and uh, we started offering mentors from our side. Uh, Air STEM trained mentors would be deployed to the schools so that uh, the focus on uh, STEM is really high and uh, there is no loss of uh, knowledge in transmission. So that is our key USP. Wow, that's great. So that, you know, teachers can also have their specific time for the main curriculum. So talking about your products, please, you know, show our audience what is your product and how it's, you know, will make a difference in a child's life. Uh, and our, our another uh, key USPs are age appropriately and grade appropriately designed kits. So if you can see, uh, these are our kits that we deploy uh, to the schools. If you uh, think of any uh, robot, whether it is educational or industrial, there are three key categories of components, uh, electrical, mechanical and uh, programmable uh, microprocessors. So our kits are also uh, categorized accordingly. Uh, these are some of the projects that we have uh, uh, executed using our kits. For example, this is a mechanical press wherein we can uh, use it to depict a uh, conversion of a circular motion into a linear motion. If you can see the motor is uh, giving output of a circular motion which can in turn be converted into a linear motion. This is one of the models where uh, this is a uh, sun following uh, solar panel. Uh, this will, uh, uh, just a second. Uh, so wherever the sun is, the solar panel moves accordingly and uh, the output would be uh, more than 30 percent uh, higher than if it was uh, fixed in a certain angle and uh, you could see here one of our uh, line following robots which uh, follows the designated line so there are many practical applications with this uh, like uh, uh, serving uh, foods in restaurants or in any industrial uh, uh, warehouses so these are some of our uh, models very much you know interesting and I'm sure it will really benefit the you know students in the coming years so what are your uh, goals in the next like say five years or ten years uh, our uh, main vision in the next five to en ten years is to enable schools uh, and uh, upskill the teachers of the school so this program can reach many many students and uh, many tier two tier three and even tier four uh, 
places. So that is our objective, to upskill and make STEM education accessible to all the students, no matter how remotely they are placed. That's great, sir. And we wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. And thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did.